Having partially erupted lower wisdom teeth can lead to gum infection. The soreness arises because the lower jaw has stopped growing and the tooth is simply stuck, never being able to normally erupt. With it, the gum can become inflamed in what is called pericoronitis. Removing these teeth can be performed relatively quickly under local anaesthesia. A small incision is made which is even smaller than what is illustrated here and with careful application of an elevator the tooth is simply removed. Minor gum stitching helps to close over the hole and restore normal gum around the back surface of the standing molar. Done expertly, the whole process is completed in around one or two minutes. It is painless and with minimal, if any, force. Deeper wisdom teeth impactions are more complicated and in our opinion should only be performed by a specialist. There is a requirement for a similar incision but which under surgical magnification involves a much shorter line than what is illustrated here. But this time we have to remove some of the overlying bone around the tooth and this involves a surgical drill and surgical standards of operative care and we can use the same drill to divide the tooth into smaller portions which we can then elevate separately and safely. This kind of surgery limits the amount of surgical trauma, reduces post-operative swelling and maximises healing. Full bony impactions are the most dangerous form that can cause gum infection and also potential loss of the tooth in front of the wisdom tooth. The gum flap is the same as for other forms of impaction. Again, it can be much shorter using surgical magnification. The amount of bone we remove is designed to be as small as possible and using micro instrumentation it is through this small hole we can carefully divide the tooth into multiple pieces being careful to preserve adjacent teeth and nearby nerves. We can also fill in the bone defect with bone graft material to ensure a complete bony healing.